Password policies determine how long and complex passwords are, how often they must be changed, and whether a user is locked out of their account if they forget their password and enter some incorrect guesses. In this Windows Server Basics video, you will learn about configuring password policies for an Active Directory domain services domain. Active Directory password policies at the domain level are applied through the default domain policy GPO, which is linked directly to the domain. This GPO enforces password requirements such as complexity, length, and expiration for all user accounts in the domain. A key thing to understand is that whilst you can apply different GPOs with password policy settings in an Active Directory environment, only the settings in the default domain policy actually have any impact. The only exception to this is fine-grained password policies configured in Active Directory Administrative Center. As this is a basics video, we won't cover fine-grained password policies as they do tend to get a bit complicated. The primary policies that can be configured in an Active Directory password policy include enforce password history, maximum password age, minimum password age, minimum password length, password must meet complexity requirements, minimum password length audit, relax minimum password length limits, and store passwords using reversible encryption. Let's look at each of these in more detail. The Enforce Password History policy specifies the number of unique new passwords a user must use before an old password can be reused. This prevents users from recycling a small set of passwords. The minimum value of this policy is zero passwords. When zero set, no history is enforced and users can reuse their previous password immediately. The maximum value of this policy is 24 passwords. This means users must use 24 unique new passwords before an old password can be reused. 24 is the default value. The maximum password age policy determines the maximum number of days a password can be used before the system requires the user to change it. Regularly changing passwords reduces the risk of compromised credentials being used indefinitely. The minimum value of this policy is zero days. When this is set, passwords never expire. The maximum value of this policy is 999 days. The default value is 42 days. 42 is probably the value because a lot of people at Microsoft, like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, more than someone doing intensive security research to determine that 42 is the perfect number of days. Organizations that have implemented multi-factor authentication solutions often have a much longer password change requirement. If you are using long complex passwords, you might want to up this number to six months or longer. The minimum password age policy sets the minimum number of days that must pass before a user can change their password again. This prevents users from immediately changing back to an old password after being forced to update it. The minimum value of this policy is zero days which allows users to change their passwords again immediately without any waiting period. The maximum value of this policy is 998 days. The minimum password age needs to be less than the maximum password age policy setting. As long as you have this set to a couple of days and have a password history set to default, you'll avoid this type of user shenanigan. The minimum password length policy specifies the minimum number of characters a password must contain. Longer passwords are generally more secure because they are harder to guess or crack. The default minimum password length is seven characters. You can set this policy to a minimum value of zero characters, which means no minimum length is enforced and passwords can be blank. You can set a maximum value of 128 characters. You can only set the 128 character value if the relax minimum password length limits policy is configured. Otherwise, the maximum value is lower. The maximum password length in Active Directory environments is 128 characters. If you encourage people to use passphrases, 
that is a collection of words rather than 8 to 12 characters, you can improve password length and security. People are far more able to remember a set of five or six random words, which might be 30 or more characters, than they are able to remember a random set of 12 characters, numbers and symbols. The password must meet complexity requirements policy ensures that passwords include characters from multiple categories, including uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers and special characters to make them more difficult to guess or brute force. The minimum password length audit policy determines the minimum password length for which password length audit warning events are issued. This setting may be configured from 1 to 128. You should only enable and configure this setting when trying to determine the potential impact of increasing the minimum password length setting in your environment. If this setting is defined and is greater than the minimum password length setting, and the length of a new account password is less than this setting, an audit event will be issued. The relax minimum password length limits policy controls whether the minimum password length setting can be increased beyond the legacy limit of 14. If this setting is defined and enabled, minimum password length may be configured higher than 14. The store passwords using reversible encryption policy is a legacy policy. This policy determines whether the operating system stores passwords using reversible encryption. Enabling this setting is highly discouraged because it effectively stores passwords in plain text, posing a significant security risk. You shouldn't enable this policy, it's just here for legacy reasons, and by default it is disabled. Once you've got your head around password policies, the next thing to consider is account lockout policies. Account lockout policies determine the period of time an account is locked out when an incorrect number of passwords is entered in a specific number of times. The policies are as follows. Account lockout threshold. Account lockout duration. Allow administrator account lockout and reset account lockout counter after policies. Let's look at each of these in more detail. The account lockout threshold policy specifies the number of failed logon attempts allowed before a user account is locked out. The default is zero, which means lockout is disabled. You can set a maximum of 999 attempts. Setting this value too low may result in users being locked out due to typographical errors while setting it too high may not provide adequate security against brute force attacks. It's also reliant on the reset account lockout after policy. The reset account lockout counter after policy specifies the number of minutes that must elapse after a failed logon attempt before the failed logon attempt counter is reset to zero. By default, the policy is not defined. The minimum setting is one minute and the maximum setting is just under 70 days. This setting should be less than or equal to the account lockout duration. It determines how long the system remembers failed login attempts, impacting how quickly the account can be locked out again after being unlocked. The account lockout duration policy determines the number of minutes an account remains locked out before it is automatically unlocked. The policy is not defined by default, the minimum is zero minutes, which means the account remains locked until an administrator manually unlocks it. The maximum is also about 70 days. When setting these policies, keep in mind that a value of zero requires manual intervention to unlock the account, which can increase administrative overhead. Setting an appropriate duration where the user might be inconvenienced, but doesn't have to contact the help desk balances security with user convenience. Although it's beyond the scope of this basics video, if you've got identities syncing to Entra, you can also enable self-service password reset. The final policy in this section is the allow administrator account lockout policy. The allow administrator account lockout policy applies to the default administrator account. It does not apply to any other account that might be a member of the domain admins, enterprise admins, or local administrators security groups. 
Now that we've gone over all of that theory, let's see how you configure this in practice. We start in the Group Policy Management Console. We expand the Group Policy Objects node and select the default domain policy. Remember, this is the only policy in the domain that impacts password policy. The settings are in all GPOs, but it's only this policy that matters. We right click on this policy and choose Edit. This opens the Group Policy Management Editor. In the Group Policy Management Editor, we expand policies under Computer Configuration. We then expand Windows Settings, then Security Settings. Under Security Settings, we expand Account Policies. This leads us to the Password Policy node that contains the first set of policies we want to configure. The first policy we edit is the minimum password age. Here I set it to two days. That means anyone who changes their password can't change it again for 48 hours. Remember users can change their password manually. It isn't something that you just enforce through policy. This policy means that if they do change their password, they just have to wait a couple of days before they do it again. The next policy we configure is Relax Minimum Password Length Limits. This policy only made its way into Windows Server in 2022, and it allows you to configure the minimum password length policy to values higher than 14. We get some warnings when enabling this policy. This is because there are many older applications out there in the world that can't handle passwords longer than 14 characters. If you're going to set a higher minimum password value, make sure that you aren't running any applications that will fail with longer passwords. Now we can set the minimum password length policy. Here I set it to 16 characters. I again get a warning because it's important to reiterate that a lot of older applications don't expect passwords longer than eight characters. Microsoft has now done its duty in warning us. We can now continue to frolic through the demo. The other settings are fine when left to the defaults, so we move on to the Account Lockout Policy node. We open the Account Lockout Duration Policy and set the Account Lockout Duration to 15 minutes. When we do this, two other policies that support this policy are automatically configured with suggested values. These are five invalid logon attempts trigger the lockout and that the Account Lockout Counter is reset after 10 minutes. These values are fine, so I choose OK, and the password and account lockout policies are configured. In this Windows Server Basics video, you learned about configuring password policies for an Active Directory Domain Services domain. We'll be publishing more Windows Server Basics videos on this channel soon. If you've got a specific topic you want to see covered, leave it in the comments below.